Hello, uh, I'm Jaroslav Škarvada, software developer at uh, Red Hat. And today I would like to uh, talk about uh, TuneD project and how you could, uh, how it could help you with uh, system uh, tuning. Uh, maybe you have already uh, uh, had some uh, presentation uh, mentioning uh, TuneD, or uh, maybe you have uh, already uh, seen it in some uh, performance uh, tuning guides, but uh, these uh, papers usually uh, do not uh, focus on TuneD in detail. So that's why I created uh, this uh, presentation to introduce uh, the tool uh, more. Um, regarding uh, system tuning, if you are a system administrator, usually uh, you are uh, uh, you don't um, are okay with uh, uh, the tunings default with the default settings that are in a, a Linux uh, kernel and a Linux system because you want to get the most uh, from your uh, expensive uh, hardware. So that's why usually you need to uh, customize uh, uh, some uh, tuning knobs in the system to get the best uh, performance. Also, it depends what performance uh, you need. Uh, for example, if you are uh, running uh, uh, some high-performance uh, computing cluster, uh, you uh, need, uh, you, you want uh, to tune uh, your system for highest possible uh, uh, GPAD. Uh, so uh, to be able to calculate more numbers on your system, and in cases you are running some message browser, uh, you need to uh, tune your machine probably for low latency. Uh, if you have some backup cluster, you probably may want to uh, tune it uh, to consume uh, low uh, power. Uh, so usually, uh, if, if you uh, need to do some tuning, probably people uh, consult guides and best practices uh, forums and uh, knowledge base articles, and there are some bunch of commands that they usually just copy and paste, or if they uh, want uh, to uh, uh, repeat this, they usually uh, put it into scripts. Uh, so it can very, very soon uh, get very complex uh, and hard, hard to maintain because uh, um, there are uh, many knobs on, on the typical system you can, you can tune. Uh, for example, CCTL, CSFS, uh, various tools. Uh, you, you need to call to, uh, to do the tuning, the tools at configuration, usually in ETC. Uh, also, you may need to boot kernel with special parameters, or run or tune uh, systemd uh, services. And also, uh, there is, uh, uh, you may need a hot plug. So, uh, for example, if you attach uh, new block devices to the system, you may need to tune it according to your needs. For example, change uh, uh, the I.O. Uh, scheduler or uh, similar. Uh, so there are some more problems you can encounter with uh, this uh, approach, uh, but this approach usually works because it's used for decades. Uh, and the, the other problems are the maintainability. And it's especially a problem if you need to support uh, multiple versions of operating uh, systems, multiple versions of, of kernels, because even the kernel uh, interfaces and API uh, are stable, they can evolve over time, and then there can be uh, changes and non-compatibilities. So usually you end up with uh, several scripts uh, for several machines if you are in your, in your, in your uh, network, if you have uh, several versions of operating system, or uh, you can do one very complex uh, script that will handle it all. And uh, the problem is uh, that uh, you can very easily get lost in it because you can, you can just check some line and you can't remember why, why, why it is there. Uh, the other problem is how to, how to verify that your uh, system is uh, tuning the way you already uh, want. So usually uh, you can't say that everything works as, as you want it. So you, uh, you uh, probably need to run some benchmark to verify that the system behaves the way you, you, you want it. And there can be also interference with other tools. 
uh, because maybe you tune your uh, CPL somehow and uh, then some other software is run and it changed the CCPL settings and you will not notice and your system will be, will be tuned differently than you want it. And uh, last but not least, the rollback. Usually with the script approaches, you do not uh, uh, take it into account and if you need to go back with these settings, you just reprovision the system, uh, reinstall or for temporary settings, just uh, reboot. So, uh, TuneD is uh, some small project that uh, try uh, to address this and help you uh, with the system tuning. It has a plugin architecture, uh, so it can be easily extended. Uh, tuning is uh, centralized in one place, in so-called uh, TuneD profiles. Uh, so, uh, you, you don't need to, to take care of all the settings, you just uh, need, need to know uh, what uh, TuneD profiles to, to use. Uh, rollback is supported, hot plug is supported, uh, verification is supported, and also TuneD can do some auto-configuration of itself. It can detect the hardware uh, or uh, system uh, and or, or, or operating uh, system versions and type, and then can auto-select the profile according uh, to this uh, detection. Um, the tool can be controlled from a command line interface or uh, from, uh, through dbus, uh, so it can be easily integrated to, to existing solutions. For example, it's supported uh, in cockpit. Uh, we have also uh, Ansible role for it, and uh, the, the great thing is that it's uh, uh, available in Red Hat Enterprise uh, Linux. Uh, in Red Hat Enterprise uh, Linux uh, 7, it's already installed and uh, enabled. Uh, so, this is uh, probably um, the most important slide for you if you are just ordinary user. Uh, people usually ask us for some magic button to just push and do not care about uh, the details. So, uh, maybe uh, the TuneD ADM profile command is, is near uh, to it because all what you need is just to, to type uh, TuneD ADM profile and then the profile you need and the profile will be loaded and all the system knobs will be set according uh, to this uh, profile. Uh, if uh, uh, TuneD is not running on your system, if you don't have Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 or it's, it is not enabled like in, in Fedora, you also need to start it uh, through system CTL, uh, or you can also enable it to auto start. Uh, the other important uh, command is tune the IDM list, which will show you all uh, available profiles on, on, your, on your system uh, that uh, you can use that are installed and available. Uh, tune the IDM active uh, shows which uh, profile is loaded. And finally, there is the ADM verify command that uh, just uh, checks whether all the settings from the profile are uh, applied. If there is uh, something different, for example, some tool change, some CCPL knob or, or something, uh, it, it, will, it will show that th th there is a difference and uh, it will show what, what different and you can use this command, for example, for, for scripts just to check the dash i uh, parameter is there uh, to ignore uh, hardware, uh, to ignore uh, differences that are caused by uh, non-compatible hardware or that you have hardware that do not support the tuning. For example, if uh, the, in the, the profile requested uh, CPU uh, frack governor to be set to something that is not supported on your system or CP frag is not at all supported on your system, uh, then uh, to the ADM, ADM verify uh, uh, will exit it error. But if you use dash i parameter, it will ignore it because it, it knows that it's uh, caused by uh, uh, not support, support, supported feature in the hardware or uh, software. Uh, there is also a hackish example on this slide how to control it uh, through debug. This is by using the debug send uh, debug uh, uh, command, uh, and this do the same as uh, as the tune the ADM active in, in this uh, example. 
Uh, so regarding the profiles, uh, we have uh, several profiles uh, upstream, and um, these uh, profiles have uh, settings that are provided to us uh, by uh, performance engineers. Uh, so they run benchmarks, uh, do the tuning, uh, know what uh, customers need, and uh, these uh, tunings from uh, our performance tuning guides uh, are put into uh, these profiles. There are profiles for general goals, like uh, true path performance, low latency performance for low latency, power save for power saving, and uh, balanced uh, to balance uh, in between. Um, we also have uh, profiles for various uh, products, for example, for SAP, for database servers, uh, for Atomic, uh, and uh, also there exist some uh, third party packages uh, providing uh, tuned in profiles. Regarding uh, uh, profiles for products, uh, they are made uh, from the documentation from the products and from knowledge bases and best practice, practices uh, articles. Uh, so exactly, if, if you don't need to go to the knowledge base and, and tune it by hand, you just uh, select the profile and uh, everything is set up. If you want to roll back and try different uh, tuning, you can do the, it. Uh, tune the, you can roll back the settings. So this is also good for benchmarking. So you can just uh, run tune the ADM profile, change profile, and benchmark your system with different settings. And you don't need to, to reboot or reprovision. Uh, regarding uh, reprofiles, there are two types of profiles, uh, factory or so-called uh, system profiles and uh, custom or, or user profiles. Uh, the system profiles are, are under user, uh, user lib, and um, uh, usually uh, there is a problem that uh, some people uh, directly edit them. Uh, please don't do, do this, because if you do it, uh, every update of, of the system profile by, by RPM, by new version of RPM package, will override your settings. Uh, so if you need to, uh, to customize it, the, the better way is, is to copy it to APC Tune D, which uh, takes uh, precedence uh, when selecting the profile, and then do your changes. Uh, I will talk about it more uh, later. So what's uh, inside uh, the profile? Uh, the profile is uh, directory. Uh, there could be uh, different uh, files used by different uh, plugins, and the main configuration file of the profile is uh, called uh, Tune the uh, uh, It's uh, if if we look uh, uh, more deep on it, it's just uh, any file uh, that has some uh, main main section, and uh, in the main section uh, there uh, can be summary and description what the profile did. This is what you see uh, in in. For example, cockpit. You will see the list of profiles and, and uh, description what they are good for. And this is option. This is uh, all. This is optional. Uh, you don't need to have it there. Even the main section optional. Uh, and then there are uh, plugin configuration. So uh, here in this example, I have uh, enabled this plugin and CCTL plugin. Uh, and CCTL, this is the same, just the setting. Uh, CCTLS, so I'm setting sleepiness to five, which is which is quite low. Uh, it means that the system will not swap if if not uh, necessary. Uh, regarding uh, uh, the disk uh, plugin, there is set uh, read ahead to uh, 4096, and uh, each plugin has a bunch of these uh, options uh, supported. Uh, in the form written there, uh, it's uh, just it will take all the disk devices, all all the block devices, non-removable on your system, and tune it uh, this this way. If you need uh, some uh, more complex uh, settings, like uh, tune different disk differently, uh, there is more for verbose form how to write it, and these two, how it's written there, are. Are, are the same, do the same. So if you write it more for form, you need to specify that it's a plugin type disk, 
uh, this is the instance name. It could be uh, any, any arbitrary uh, string, but must be unique to, to describe your instance. And there uh, is the, uh, there are devices the plugin uh, will handle. Uh, so uh, it will handle all devices. Uh, on this uh, slide, you can see how to, how to configure it uh, for, uh, for more instances. So this is, this is the more complex form, it is there. And you can see I have uh, three instances of plugin disk. Uh, one I, I named uh, disk system, the other disk data, and, and the rest for, for the rest of this on my system. So all are type of disk, uh, and I want uh, my uh, system disk, I, I know it's SDA1, uh, so I want SDA1 to be tuned this way, and uh, SDA2 to be tuned uh, differently. Uh, here you can also see some, uh, something called uh, conditional uh, change operator. Uh, this, this, this can be read as uh, if uh, just uh, uh, I want uh, read ahead to be at least this number. If the current read ahead is uh, lower, it's set to this number. If it's higher, it's not touched. Uh, so uh, this, this way, uh, you can configure a different work, uh, devices. Uh, also, it's possible to do full uh, UDEF regular expression uh, matching. Uh, on this, uh, on this uh, slide, uh, there are set uh, two instances of the plugin to handle uh, all this manufactured by uh, Samsung. So it's this uh, UDEF uh, uh, property. Uh, matched by regular expression, and uh, this uh, second instance will handle uh, all SSDs, all solid state disk devices. And um, in UDEF, it can be done by just uh, checking that uh, uh, there is uh, the rotation speed is, is uh, zero. Uh, all properties you can match uh, can be get uh, from the UDEF by this command, UDEF IDM info query property and uh, the device uh, you are interested in. And all, all the properties written uh, by this command can be matched by uh, Tundi. Sorry. I'm really sorry. My fault. Okay, I'm really sorry about it. Uh, so, uh, you can see that uh, in the first, uh, first example, I am also uh, setting the IO elevator, IO scheduler to be a uh, deadline. And uh, the great thing uh, about it is that it uh, will not only, when this profile is applied, it will not only tune your uh, system, uh, all disks on your system, but it will also plug later any uh, it will also tune later any devices that will be hot plug. So if you plug in new uh, Samsung disk at runtime uh, and it will match any of this rule, uh, it will be uh, tuned accordingly. Uh, so uh, there is uh, another concept in Tune D uh, called uh, override. Uh, which uh, means uh, you, you don't need to uh, write uh, the whole profile. You can just base your profile on any existing profile. So here, you include the Drupal performance profile. It will take all the settings from it, and uh, you will just uh, customize the governor uh, in the CPU plugin to be user space. Uh, this uh, syntax will uh, disable all tuning from throughput performance uh, for all disks, and uh, uh, this uh, will cause that the CCPL uh, set in the throughput performance uh, profile uh, will be uh, cleared, and just this one will be used. So, in, in, in the first form, it will use anything and just modify what's, what's written uh, here. And this is uh, uh, good uh, for uh, things called uh, uh, profiles chaining. This is an uh, example 
uh, from the RPM package uh, Kindly Profiles NFV, uh, which, uh, which uh, provides these uh, profiles. So, for example, it starts with the latency performance profile, which, uh, which tune your system for, uh, uh, for low latency. Then on top of it is based the network latency profile that adds just uh, tuning uh, of uh, network uh, interfaces. Uh, then the real-time profile is based on it, uh, so we, which adds uh, tuning for real-time kernel. And finally, the real-time virtual guest and real-time virtual, virtual host uh, uh, profiles. So uh, the good thing is that uh, different teams can work and maintain uh, these profiles and just focus on, on what's important uh, for them and don't, 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 don't need to, to cope with the other uh, details. Uh, uh, now how to customize the system profiles. As, as I said, you can just copy and update it, but the problem is that you get just a snapshot of the profile provided in one time by the RPM uh, package. If uh, maybe you are okay with it, then maybe you aren't. So if you want the latest uh, uh, settings for the system profile to be in your customized profile, you can use the overwrite uh, feature. This means just uh, 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 create a new profile and uh, include the profile you want to customize and customize it by uh, overrides. So this is preferred by because you don't lose your, your, uh, uh, your uh, settings and also you will get the latest uh, tuning from the RPM package. Uh, now, uh, I would like to example. Uh, I would like to show what we are also trying to solve in Tune to provide some abstraction to the uh, changed, uh, changing uh, interfaces. So, for example, if you need to uh, set a transparency stage, uh, you can do it just by a shell command. Uh, but the command is, is different <coughs> on different versions of kernel. For example, in the Enterprise Linux 6, the path is uh, uh, this, and on the Enterprise Linux 7, the, the path is, is this. So there is no, here is no uh, red hat. So if you need to copy it with, in script, you, you need to have to some check there, or two different scripts with tune D, you just write uh, this, and it, it will take care about it automatically. Uh, the, the tool is there for uh, nearly 10 years, uh, so we, we are following uh, the changes uh, in the settings which are most needed and can provide the abstraction layer for it. Uh, there is another example, for example, if you need to change uh, boot uh, line, boot kernel uh, parameters, uh, if you do it by hand, you will need to check whether it's a bootloader specification enabled uh, system. In such case, you need to uh, uh, call uh, you need to call group enable to edit uh, the group en graph enable, uh, patch some entries, um, check which bootloader uh, is there, whether it's it's graph two in case it's not bootloader specification and. Uh, uh, patch different files, check whether it's EFI or just CBOS. Uh, it, it, can, it can be quite, uh, quite complex. Uh, with Tune you do not care, you just write this, and it will set uh, kernel boot command line other than their ISO CPUs, uh, uh, one, you set them to one, which uh, means that the kernel scheduler uh, will not uh, schedule uh, processes uh, to uh, CPU, CPU core one. Uh, so we can easily extend it to, to, to more complex uh, uh, examples. Uh, the another, uh, another, another thing in, in, in this profile is uh, variables uh, support. You can, uh, you don't need to customize uh, the profile just, for example, if the user uh, needs to isolate uh, different cores, uh, you can have one static profile and uh, uh, another file with, with variables and then just uh, uh, set, uh, set them. Uh, so user will just edit the variables file and you can have one uh, 
uh, one uh, static profile. Uh, there's also functions supported, uh, so you can, uh, you can, for example, uh, uh, take the CP, CPU, uh, CPU cores uh, specified by Linux by, by user in the in the configuration file, and by calling this function, it will do the complement. So, for example, if you have four, uh, four, 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 four cores machine, why, and in the course is set uh, uh, core number one, uh, this will return course two, three, four. And there are more functions supported uh, in, in Tundi out of the box, and uh, it's uh, pluginable, so you can also write your own plugins. For example, uh, you can call external helpers, for example, to calculate the, the, the parameters at, at, at uh, runtime when the profile is uh, applied. Uh, another uh, feature of Tundi is dynamic uh, tuning. It's uh, there uh, to uh, initially, it was added uh, to cope with things uh, which wasn't supported uh, in, uh, in kernel. Uh, so, for example, if 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 you if there are some something uh, governance or policy doesn't exist yet in, in kernel, uh, this uh, can be uh, this can be done from user space. So. In, in TuneD, uh, some plugins can uh, do dynamic uh, tuning. Uh, this is done. Uh, uh, there are some uh, performance uh, counter, uh, counters, like CPU load, disk load, network load, uh, which are provided by uh, monitor plugins. Uh, so you can add, uh, add other. And uh, uh, then, the uh, Tundi uh, plugins can change this, uh, some settings in runtime according uh, to, uh, to these uh, counters. Uh, this was experimental feature and it's actually disabled in the enterprise Linux uh, because uh, we want uh, predictable performance uh, there. Uh, so this will, this can change the tunings according to external factors. Uh, but if you want to play with it, uh, you can enable it. Uh, it can be done in the mine tuning configuration uh, file. Uh, in Fedora, it's actually uh, enabled. Um, regarding uh, the auto configuration, the tune can also check your, your system and uh, preset, initially preset uh, profile that it uh, thinks is most appropriate uh, for your uh, system. Uh, you can do it by calling Tundi ADM, ADM auto profile, or if you just want to set, uh, want to check what Tundi thinks uh, is uh, uh, the best on your system, you, you can uh, call Tundi ADM uh, and comment. So, for example, if you have uh, some uh, product that needs some specific uh, tuning, uh, you can do uh, tune the profile to tune it and provide the recommend file to automatically set your profile. Uh, here is an uh, example of, of, of rules which, uh, which can be used. For example, uh, this will set uh, super performance on uh, systems that uh, have uh, compute node or server in uh, ETC system release and are running on bare metal, so no virtualization. Uh, this is output from the virtbot tool and there are more checks uh, supported. You can, uh, you can check for running processes, so for example, if it uh, finds uh, running uh, D-based server, uh, it, can, uh, it can assume that uh, it's uh, D-Base uh, machine uh, used for D-Base server and can uh, preset uh, D-Base profile. Um, uh, so uh, if, if, if you have uh, some rules, you can do them to ETC to the recommend D and uh, it will be take, taken into account by the engine. Um, uh, also, there is a feature called uh, no daemon mode uh, because uh, TuneD, actually TuneD is a daemon that listens on the bus and it can be a problem on 
embedded in low resources system or uh, some people just <coughs> don't like another daemon uh, running on the system. So you can set uh, the to run uh, without daemon uh, by setting daemon uh, zero in my the configuration file. And then uh, TuneD will behave just as uh, one shot. It will start, do its job, uh, apply tuning, and exist. Uh, problem is uh, actually it has less uh, functionality uh, in this mode. Uh, there is no debug control yet, but it's solvable by socket activation. Uh, no hot plug support yet. It, it could be hacked to, to do that. Uh, just nobody uh, write the support yet. Uh, no tuning of newly created processes. Uh, this is probably not solvable in no demon. Of course, no dynamic tuning and uh, no roll rollback. It, it shouldn't be a problem to implement. Um, so, regarding uh, uh, the improvements, uh, we need uh, better documentation, uh, especially some reference manual uh, auto generated with uh, the uh, all plugins and described, described uh, options and what the options mean. Because at the moment uh, there are some documentation online, but it's not. Uh, not complete, it's a bit outdated. And uh, if you are a new user of TuneD, it, 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 uh, it is probably not, not, not easy to, to find out uh, all this information. Uh, also, we would like to improve the no daemon mode, support more, more functions, and we was asked to add uh, so-called uh, simulation mode uh, to just uh, display what will be changed by the profile and uh, don't uh, actually write the changes. Uh, also, there is a space for improvement uh, regarding uh, containers and much, much more. Uh, so, uh, conclusion. Uh, if, if you don't use, use Tundi really before, uh, give it a try. It's enabled and installed in Red Enterprise Linux. It's uh, slowly uh, finding its way uh, to other distributions. And if your project uh, needs a specific tuning and you are doing it by some wild scripts, uh, consider using TuneD. We, as AppStream, uh, can merge your profile, uh, can maintain it to, to, to run uh, with uh, latest uh, TuneD core, TuneD engine. And uh, you can just uh, benefit uh, from uh, the infrastructure which is uh, supported uh, by uh, Red Hat. Uh, also, if you find bug or uh, have some feature, uh, don't hesitate to uh, open bug report or contact us. Because there, there are some people uh, saying, hey, this project looks interesting. We might use it in our use cases, but we found out that there aren't uh, features uh, we need, so we will not use it. In just in these cases, open Bugzilla, uh, we are trying to implement the functionality if it's possible. Uh, so here you can see some context uh, uh, for the project. And, uh, well, we have uh, some time uh, left, uh, so I can, I can show you another thing, uh, which could be user, uh, useful for desktop users. Uh, 2D ha has uh, PowerTop integration. If you know PowerTop tool, it's a uh, tool written and maintained by uh, Intel. And as the name uh, suggests, it shows you uh, the processes that consume uh, most uh, uh, power. Uh, well, uh, normally it shows you processes that do most uh, wake-ups of a particular kernel. But if you calibrate the tool, uh, this is a thing that um, not uh, everybody knows, by running PowerTop uh, dash dash calibrate and uh, keep it running for, for probable probably one hour, it will then show estimation for each process, how much power it consumes in watts. Uh, and there is also a feature in PowerTop that can uh, tell you 
what you could do for improvements uh, and lowering public consumption of your system. Uh, there are a lot of uh, requests to PowerTop upstream to add uh, some auto configuration to this tool for people just hitting the magic button and PowerTop configuring it everything uh, for them. But the PowerTop upstream insisted a lot. But finally, the feature got there, and there is PowerTop uh, dash dash auto tune feature that will enable all tunings. But it can co cause problems on various systems because uh, there can be incompatibilities, like your mouse can die if it doesn't uh, support power savings correctly, and others. So there is uh, maybe a better way uh, by using uh, PowerTop power to to Tundi uh, tool. Uh, so just install Tundi, utils, and PowerTop. And by running this tool, it will uh, generate a new Tundi profile uh, that will contain all uh, the PowerTop suggestions uh, turned into, into Tundi profile. And you can just edit this file and, and, and uh, select what you really need or not by commenting or uh, uncommenting it. And finally, by activating the profile, you will, you will get all the PowerTop uh, suggestions on your system. So uh, this is how to integrate uh, PowerTop <laughs> with uh, Tundi. So I, I have uh, some... Uh, other slides uh, about uh, some Tundi functionalities uh, like uh, uh, PM quality of service and, uh, and uh, real-time tuning of processes, but uh, these are more complex uh, uh, examples, so you can, uh, you can see it uh, in this uh, presentation if you download it uh, from it. This one for the site. So uh, probably this is everything uh, from me, and uh, thank you for your attention. And if there are any questions, I'm here to reply them. Yes. So you briefly mentioned the um, a capability of tuning to uh, be dynamically reconfiguring the system. Where does it take the input? Uh, you mean the dynamic uh, tuning uh, function, functionality? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the question was uh, from, from where it is uh, taking uh, the information for, for dynamic uh, tuning. Uh, it, it's taken from the monitors plugin you can write, and currently there are plugins to collect uh, CPU utilization or CPUs utilizations, uh, network load for your network card uh, interfaces, and um, uh, also it uh, it uh, uh, you can write probably an, a, any monitor you, you need to, to fit your network. Well, the question was whether it would be possible to, fa uh, to write some uh, uh, function to fit the PCP data. P PCP monitor to? PCP uh, data to, to, to through, uh, through the plugin. Well, I, I think it could. The plugins are written in Python, so Python. you can definitely write everything uh, you, you need. Any other questions?